इस प्लास्टिक द वर्स्ट थिंग मॉडर्न साइंस हेज प्रोड्यूस्ड और इज इट द बेस्ट थिंग बेस्ट I don't know how you would even begin to describe okay, it as the best, but okay. worst is definitely a candidate. Okay. I think for those who are not aware of the worst, let's first do the worst. Okay, right? uh, but we'll come to the best, so don't go away. He okay. genuinely has so something. So we create a lot of plastic, hmm. and it is continuously increasing. Yes, and unfortunately, how much do you think is being recycled? Very little. I mean, uh, a lot of it ends up in the oceans, and yes. then so marine life is only ten percent is rec- only ten percent is recycled. Ninety percent hmm. is wasted. And wasted mostly oceans or landfills. Yeah, there is okay. that huge plastic and island in the ocean. The other bad news huh. is that. once it ends up there it is not biodegradable so it just going to stay there for thousands of years yes and it is going to get into the noses of little cute little dolphins and cause turtles, problems right? turtles and, yes and other fishes okay so a little good news hmm? is the fact that india huh. is pretty good at recycling plastic okay oh, that we are yes. that i can definitely attest around 40 to 60% huh. of plastic in india is recycled compared to like 10% average for the rest of the world sounds about right, right. 40 to 40 to 60% of plastic coming into my home also gets recycled Correct. and we are not in the top 10 plastic polluters of the world we are not right? we are no. not yeah. we are not correct okay. so that's good but still huh. i mean whatever plastic doesn't get recycled and goes it is dangerous because not just plastics are clogging our drains hmm. but also microplastic so you know like <clears throat> teeny bits of plastic which just rub off from any plastic pieces or from the surface of plastic pipes those uh, are plastics even release toxic uh chemicals yeah and all of those are finding their way into the soil into the water into the in that animals, sense plastic the trees. is the asbestos of our generation right? and well asbestos was Worse. really bad yeah, it I was, know, but this is not that bad it's just i was the, trying to make a glib comparison i mean let me make yes. a glib comparison once in a while okay fine all right but yeah plastics blocking our waterways also causes flooding yes right so Plastic is the worst thing. I ag- I agree. You have said nothing that I don't agree with. Okay. I completely agree with all of it. The world huh? is improving. We said that in one episode. Yes, right? we have, and it's a very good episode. You should check yes. that out. Yes, um, and that includes the fact that the world has produced far more plastic today than it produced earlier. Still improving because poor people huh? are much better off, okay. and a lot of it has to do with plastic. Okay. okay. so many things have become much much cheaper hmm. and more durable because they are plastic okay, okay. i will give you that right? yes so there was a whole bunch of things that only rich people could afford but now poor people can also afford, afford because right? plastic right because plastic plastic bottles plastic containers plastic all kinds of plastics yeah. okay but let's just think of food Right? Okay. Everybody I'm in the world. I'm always thinking of food. Yes, everybody in the world needs food hmm. to survive. The fact that we are being able to feed so many more people, the population has increased. Hmm. We are feeding all of them, hmm. most of them. Also, the fact that the number of people in the world who are undernourished hmm. has gone down significantly. Right? Okay. And the reason for that, one of the big reasons for that, is plastics. Okay. we are not feeding them plastic we are not feeding them plastic but the cost of producing the food has gone down because there is plastic being used in the production uh, cycles okay. and that reduces the cost as in for but storage storage is also and there and even the machines being used uh, ah, they okay. use a lot of plastic okay. right? the production the storage and the transport right. all of uh, the cycles parts have mm. plastic somewhere involved yeah not which just that enhances the durability of the no durability is one thing for storage ha huh. and transport the fact is that a plastic container can be much smaller than any other container similar container right wood would be so much thicker anything else would be so much thicker good point. plastic reduces the volume as well as the weight okay right so the cost of storage goes down the cost of transport goes down a lot of costs have gone down due to plastic no, yes and what you pointed out earlier which is that because the packaging is so much better huh. the amount spoilt 
goes down right you have ah. air tight packing yeah. right you have water tight packing all of this and so much cheaper than any other method of doing air tight and water tight before plastics came along that's that's right? true but then again so, those are the exact things that are also causing problems no let's focus on the poor dying people who didn't have food before okay that's blackmail the thing but i get it go on it is estimated that without plastic hmm. right 40 to 50 more percent of food would be spoiled how oh, okay. and it would cost the world 500 billion dollars the entire economy of thailand is 500 billion dollars okay yeah so yeah that's yeah mm. that's medical scary. industry hmm. right yeah there is a lot of plastic in the medical industry so just take covid right we could not have defeated covid without plastic syringes yeah right Fi- they are 5x to 10 times cheaper than any other method of giving vaccines face shields goggles masks right yeah and even f- you know other than covid uh, i mean in cataract in the lens you use plastic technology artificial limbs if artificial teeth everything is so much better. i mean if you remember your grandfather going through a cataract operation or things to do with their teeth mm. compared to now now is so much easier and so much cheaper and so many more people are able to do these things because plastics and modern technology have made it easier right yeah a lot of plastic is invisible in a sense absolutely another example hmm. is uh, well, not so much in india but uh, in western countries hmm. is that most houses hmm. have thermal insulation which is plastic pu okay. polyurethane foam yeah right so that plastic insulation hmm. gives 4 billion dollars of energy savings and it re- i mean reduces the volume of the insulation increases the quality of the insulation reduces the electricity consumed reduces the greenhouse gases and less people die of exposure <laughs> Right? Yeah, so, but okay. Uh, the trade-off. If you have ever done anything related to house and construction and so on, huh. pipes used to be such a huge problem. Lead pipes and they have cracks and they rust and they leak. And plastic pipes have made things so much easier. <laughs> okay, so okay, you are selling me on plastic, but at the same time, I also know that there are. We've we've already discussed the issues with plastic, so it, yes. it seems like a trade-off between cost savings versus life saving. Yes. So which one do we go with? Cost saving or life saving? I would go with life saving. Oh wait, wait. Plastic is saving lives also. Okay. People wouldn't be able to eat plastic plates. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we would have only 60% of the food that we produce if it was not for plastic, right? Fair. So, yes. Fair. So cost yeah. saving with a bit of life saving also with a lot of life saving right. also. Right. Uh but then Listen we know plastic is bad for the environment. Correct. So what are we doing about it? We are trying to ban plastic straws. Yeah, okay. but plastic no, straws th- are kind okay. We've already spoken about this that a lot of it is just shifting the blame uh, by cor- a game by corporations. Yeah. But but yes, I mean basically banning plastic straws is like you know the guy searching for his lost coin under the lamp although he lost it there somewhere. Mm. <laughs> but this is because this is easy to do and it is very visible yeah right but like i said in an earlier episode plastic straws are just 0.03% percent yeah and even the worse oceans. yeah the the things that have replaced the plastic straws come covered in plastic yes that, that is that is like the irony I, i mean it's yeah. a whole another yeah. level of irony so but, another hmm. I mean, so plastic straws is totally stupid, but a slightly better example huh. is plastic bottled water. People get very worked up about using bottled water in plastic. And yeah, but I reuse those bottles for several other uses, man. Right. I mean, well, I no, lots of people don't. Okay. Uh, reuse, right? They drink and then they just throw it. In fact, they will throw it in the middle of the road or in like the most beautiful park. You know, they will go find that and then throw the bottle right there. <laughs> they will go yeah, find that. It seems. Okay. But, yes, they do. I agree. Right? Uh, and people are some people are trying to replace it with you know we'll have glass bottles and we'll have glasses and metal bottles and what not yeah but the situation there is not entirely clear okay okay what people miss about this hmm. is one the cost of making the glass bottle and transporting it and all of that is higher yeah the cost of washing it 
there is a non trivial cost associated with washing it yeah both time and money cost most importantly hmm. just because people are not recycling the bottles doesn't mean they are not getting recycled india has a very well uh, uh, established machinery for doing that so yeah. it is estimated that more than 80% of plastic bottles in india actually get recycled okay. yeah a lot they of become, this banned plastic i do agree is yeah. theater and yeah. it's it's unnecessary theater yeah. uh, so a third third one hmm. again the situation is not entirely clear but mm. there are parts that most people don't realize right plastic bags mm. right so yes single use plastic bags are horrible you use it once and you throw it and then it clogs the drains and it sticks around and it's horrible but people do is that then replace it with like a cotton bag mm. and that's actually much worse for the environment a cotton bag is worse for much, the environment much 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 worse okay why ha ah, so what? okay basically a cotton bag I'll, let me read right uk and danish studies show ha huh. that cotton bags you have to harvest the cotton hmm. and then some of the cotton gets wasted hmm. so you can only use a subset of it Correct. and there's lot of water that went into it land got used and so on cotton is a water then you have crop. to do ginning to separate the cotton from the leaves 33% Correct. only <clears throat> is usable after this stage then you have to do bales you have to spin it you have to weave it chemical cleaning beaching dyeing printing everything uses lot water and electricity okay that's a lot But of process i hear yes. you say that um you can reuse a cotton bag would you like to no. know how many times would you have to reuse a cotton bag for it to have the same environmental impact as oh. plastic uh 100 times 70 100 Okay. Wow. If I have use, I have to use a cotton bag seventy one hundred times to, to get the same environmental, environmental profile as a plastic bag. As a single. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. okay. And organic. If you use organic cotton, that's even worse because it uses thirty percent more water, and the yield per hectare of farm is thirty percent less. Okay. Have we been fooling ourselves? No. Well, paper. Yeah, okay. paper is better, right? Yes, but. The problem is paper is six to ten times heavier than plastic. Okay. Right. So you need to have forty-three times reuse, and also you can't really use paper bags for grocery shopping because Correct. a lot right. of other of problems. Course. And paper bags you can't reuse that many times either. Plus paper bags Correct. means you're cutting down trees to But make paper. But still, the point still remains that yes, plastic bags if you use once and throw, hmm. it does clog up and it is part of the problem. So we should be trying to. reduce the use but i think the best use hmm. is reusable plastic bags right so which that, uh, which is basically every kind of plastic bag out no, there no no in india we do that well one is that those very thin plastic bags are almost impossible to reuse because after one or two uses they they, will, they tear and they, they become unusable but, but slightly anyways, thicker one yeah we have 50 micron limit on the single use also Correct. so, so yeah. those are pretty much reusable to to a large extent yes and we should do that and that is excellent it's far better than using cotton bags and uh, paper bags right wait a second did i go from plastic being the worst to actually figuring out ways to reuse plastic no so yes so now let's end the episode with further confusion as in we are not going to take either side and we are going to be in the middle and we'll say it depends okay, <laughs> okay. So, i am thoroughly confused in no, this no, episode no 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 so we will simplify one please Avoid single-use plastic bags. That goes right? without saying. Single-use any plastic. Single-use any plastic is is bad. Bad. Hmm. Multi-use plastic. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so single-use straws are bad. Single-use right. bottles are bad. Single-use hmm. wrapping is bad. Yeah. Uh, single-use. Uh, but. Huh. But but but. When you are doing multi-use huh. and you are actually consuming the thing inside, huh. be careful. I mean, don't take like a water bottle, plastic water bottle, and reuse it for six months. because uh, that multi use of plastic after a while can start leaching chemicals into the water and can cause problems similar things with food so don't reuse for a very long time be Does careful supply to that bpa free plastic also the food grade plastic we'll have to check on that check so on that, check yes. that yeah. uh, because there is food grade plastic and there is a difference between food grade plastic and your regular Correct, yeah. plastic but assuming you are mostly running into regular plastic don't you reuse but not a whole lot reuse with care yeah that applies another, to everything in life another thing that we have done in our society hmm. is that we have set up a plastic recycling system right so all 
plastic hmm. packaging containers and so on hmm. uh, or bags that after reuse we are like okay now this needs to be thrown right hmm. we collect it in a separate uh, garbage bag in our house hmm. and then once a month hmm. uh, there is a company called rudra plastic hmm. they come to our society and then take they take everybody's bags hmm. and they take it away to their factory for recycling right i'm sure so rudra is just what happens to be there here locally but i'm pretty sure that uh, most places major, big cities in india will have some have kind of plastic thing. recycling facility what do they recycle plastic into more plastic so what companies like this do hmm. right some of them convert it to polyfuel hmm. which is like a low quality diesel hmm. can't be used in your two wheelers or your cars huh. but they can be used for furnaces for heating certain uh, generators and so on that's a good use so some plastics hmm. are converted into cloth okay okay uh, you know right a lot of our clothes are contain significant amounts of plastic yes. in them right so most plastic bottles a lot of them end up in uh, clothes some of them get converted into new plastics also so various things are possible we we'll leave a link to this uh, company that he spoke about rudra was it yeah yeah we we'll leave but a link the company is not important just there are figure various out, possibilities just yeah. figure out what is available locally for you figure out a way to locally recycle and uh, hmm. uh, you know reuse plastic or if there is a company that does that do that right. uh, Uh, and set up something in your societies as well that's a very interesting uh, way to end the episode i am now trying to think of all the plastic that i use and all the plastic that i shouldn't use and all the plastic that i should recycle i'll have to start making a list let's make the list but for now shrikant navin future iq thank you thank you for watching till the end if you like this episode check out these others you might like them also and please share with your friends i'm sure they will also like these